look how fast I am. Okay. That is crazy. Can I fly as a Spectral Dragon? I should probably get a little lower since I get to take fall damage. Oh my goodness. I don't think I can Hey, fly. this is kind of like that. Is that it? Do we like find it right off the bat? What's going on guys, it's Slider Havoc here and we are back on Epistle Craft! No, not really, it's Revenge of the Sea Team, but we are pumped and excited because we are heading to the Wasteland to get going on some Abyssal Craft. But before we do that, I want to get caught, caught up on a couple quick things. Uh, for, I, I got a couple messages on Twitter and I thought I would kind of share those here because the two things that I was told I was actually really excited about because I didn't, I had never heard or known about either of these, you know, two items, I guess, or two things. Uh, the first one is something that someone had mentioned to me called a uh, magnum torch apparently it uh you know when i do my f7 and i can see all the yellow and red x's on the ground and it basically tells me where mobs can spawn anytime and during the nighttime or whatever right well a, a a normal torch will cover like six you know six seven squares or whatever six seven blocks apparently this magnum torch here will go and stretch out to 64 blocks right and I really want to make one of those, but I don't have potion stuff set up yet, so we're going to bypass that now. But I want you guys to know that this thing is, this Magnum Torch is pretty freaking sweet. Not too, well, I guess it's kind of expensive to make, but I want to make two of them and just kind of plant them around my house or I might make more or whatever. But, you know, it's not too bad. It's, it's a diamond, which is kind of gets expensive. And uh, these potions are easy. The wood is easy, but it's like five diamonds, a whole bunch of gold and some torches or whatever to make the chandeliers. And then... Um, QED, I'm not even sure about yet, but I just want to show you guys that because I thought that was really, really awesome. Uh, someone told me about that, and I thought that was great just to kind of keep mobs completely away from the house. Um, and I, the, the part of it I thought was really funny was when I logged back to the server, because it's been a couple days since I've been on the server, this entire room was filled with zombie pigmen. And I came and checked it out, and I was like, well, what the heck's going on here? And then all of a sudden I looked over, they all started jumping in my Erebus portal. And as you see... They're here, try to attack me. They're, well, there's only one here now, which is really funny. I wonder where the rest of them are at. Oh, I don't know what that is. But anyways, I just wanted to show you that, yeah, the, the zombie pigmen are taking trips. And uh, apparently one of their trips was, you know, you're really annoying. Uh, to Erebus. So they're getting out and seeing the world. That's really cool. I, I like to see that, you know, they're sharing in the excitement that we are and checking out some of these other dimensions. And anyways, the other thing I really wanted to show you, which I don't know if I can show you now, but I'll definitely be able to show you in um, the, the Wasteland, the uh, Abyssal Craft Wasteland, is someone had let me know that uh, once I became a robot, robot mobs were no longer hostile towards me. And I did not know that. And he was like, you know, you don't have to kill the robots anymore because, well, they're not hostile to you. You, you know, they became neutral because you became a robot, which makes absolute sense. However... I still like killing them because they can give me some legendary drops if I can find uh, legendary guys. And I actually have an idea for that. And I'm going to be taking um, a safari net with me when we go to the Abyssal Wasteland because I think that would be awesome to catch one of those legendary guys and then I can grind them. So anyways, what I'm doing right now is I'm actually getting the parts I need to make a knapsack. And reason being is I've been having you know storage issues and, you know, oh, I need to click on you. Uh, I've been having storage issues, and I mean, that's no surprise or whatever, because you get so much stuff in these mod packs or whatever. Um, but I need to make the knapsack again, because I lost it a long time ago. I think I lost it to the anomaly, and I just never happened to make myself a new one. And so I figured, heck, we should probably make myself a new knapsack so I can carry more, and then I'm going to grab my golden bag of holding, and we're going to have plenty of storage space for when we go to the Abyssal Wasteland. So I know I'm going to need gold, and then I need leather, right? Which I should have plenty. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we should be Gucci. We should be good to go. And so, oh, I was on knapsack. There you go. And I can craft you up real quick. Nope, I need to do the other one. There we go. So I got my knapsack again, which is really, really useful. And put that guy there. And now I have my knapsack. So we are Gucci there. And I want to grab my golden bag holding. Because I want as much uh, storage space as possible. Um, are you in one of these chests? Oh, oh, there you are. 
Okay, cool. And so we've got our golden bag of holding. And this is stuff I got from Rebus. Most of this is all Rebus. I want you... Oh, the animated block. Yeah, I had ideas for that. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and grip, empty you out because I don't need anything in here. I can grab the Ariba stuff later and just go ahead and throw you in the inventory system for right now because I don't have any use for any of this stuff at the moment. Oh, but I do want to take a bucket. I want to take a bucket because if we come across that liquid stuff again, I want to see what that liquid stuff is all about. It was a really pretty color and I thought, hey, let's check it out. So anyways... Um, I want to make the Abyssal Craft armor. And, okay, I got 10 ingots right now. I'm going to need, what, 24 total, so I'm going to need 14 more of these. And I don't remember if the Abyssal pulverizes or not. But if it does, that's just more Abyssal Knight for me, which is really, really cool. Because I love armor, and I love when there's some really, really cool, like, you know, endgame armor. And so I want to start working on the endgame armor now. Nope, can't do it, so just throw it in here. And so we're going to make some Abyssal Knight armor. Plus, I figured I'm a little bit OP when it comes to going to, you know, specific places or whatever. Because, I mean, first of all, I can fly when I'm in bat mode. Second of all, I don't take, like, any damage because of my, uh, uh, what is the name of this armor? The Tritanium armor. I don't take any damage because of it. So it's a little OP. So I'm thinking maybe I'll actually head into the Abyss wearing the Abyssal Knight armor. And even though I am, like, the worst PvPer ever, I think... I can, you know, hold them off. And if not, I can always put my Tritanium armor back on. Because, yes, I really am, like, the worst pvp -er ever. Or in this case, pve -er ever. And so I figured we'll, 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 you know, take the backup armor just in case. But I figured, why don't we go into the Abyss? Since I can already fly, and I've got this awesome gun that, you know, wipes people out really quickly. It shouldn't be too bad. But just in case, we'll take, the, we'll take that stuff with us, too. All right, so we've got enough stuff to make the armor. And uh, then we're going to make a couple things called some Power Stone Trackers, which is how we're going to find the Stronghold in uh, the Abyssal Wasteland. And then hopefully, depending on how much time we have, which I don't, I don't see it being you know, possible to get there, uh, to get the fight today. But I do want to take on the first boss because I want to be able to check out some of the other uh, dimensions of Abyssal Craft. And so we'll see. Hey, what are you doing? There we go. All right, cool. So, you know, I'm going to make another armor stand. Well, no, I don't need it because I'm just going to be switching you out here. So we're going to take off our titanium and put on... Oh, did I get a... Do I get a... Do I get a speed boost from this stuff? No way. Do I, no? Do my titanium armor slow me down? I swear I'm faster right now. That's... Yeah, I'm at 154% there. So, apparently, this stuff gives me a speed boost. Oh my god, how about fast? 240%. Look how fast I am. I could just run away from these guys. I may not even have to fly around. <laughs> That'd be awesome. So, we're going to go and put you in there. Ooh, Ender Pearl. I like Ender Pearls. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to make a, um, a Safari Net. Oh, I'm going to need Ender Pearls. Ender, there you go. Two, three, four. Because I already got one on me. Because if I find a legendary robot, I want to catch him. Because I do want to set up a grinder. And if I can, like, grind out. I know I want my Safari Net Launcher, too. There we go. And I think we have everything we need. I think. So I'm going to go ahead and put all of this. In. I don't know if it's going to keep filling oh you know what? you're already filled anyways um safari net bucket for the water that got i think i have everything i am going to go empty i have a feeling i'm going to be killing quite a few mobs so i want to empty this out real quick and make sure i'm getting uh blood because well i use it for repairing my armor and stuff like that and you know it just makes sense right and then we're going to make up some power stones uh power stone trackers so we can find the abyssal stronghold and then I think uh, we'll be doing good, good things. All right. So the Power Stone Tracker. Um, if I remember right, it's that Carillium stuff wrapped around an Ender Pearl. Uh, Power Stone Tracker. Here we go. So it's an Iron Ender uh, by Carillium Gems. Do I have any more Carillium Gems? I have a couple. I have a couple. 
I don't know how many I need. Well, eight of them. I need eight of them. So I've got, I can make at least four of these. I need another ender pearl. And I need some blaze powder. There we go. And we'll make some of these trackers up. And then we will head to the abyssal wasteland. All right, so we've got those. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to put the key in the safe spot. And I'm going to put you in the safe spot there. And move you out of the way. And I guess we'll just put you in there. All right, because we're going to get a lot of that when we head in. So I think we are ready to head to the abyssal wasteland. And, well, here we go. I am so... Wow, look how fast I am. That is crazy. Uh, except I gotta get a flight mode so I can jump up here real quick. There we go. And go back into human form. I don't know if I want to do this in human form or not, but we'll see. So here we go. Oh, ran through it. Get back in the portal. Come on. There we go. All right, abyssal wasteland. Here we come. I whoa. Whoa. You guys leave me alone. Whoa. I'm already taking damage. Already taking some serious damage. Okay, flight is going to happen. <laughs> flight is going to happen. All right, so I know I'm going to want to upgrade my armor, right? That's an obvious thing. So I'm going to want to get more of these Curlium gems here. And I've got my good old trusty uh, bound pickaxe. And I haven't been on in a while. So th I should... Yeah, I have a million life points. That's awesome. Look at how many mobs, man. That is just crazy. Absolutely crazy. I do want to build a little house for this thing here. Um, kind of keep it inside. So at least I can come in safely. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and get started on trying to find a stronghold. So, ooh, where are you going? That way. We are headed this way. So apparently this thing works just like an ender eye. Oh. Did it? Oh. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, huh. Yeah, this might take a while to get down there safely and get that thing back. I wish I had like a bomb right now just waste all of them. Um, okay. I'm going to go ahead and I don't want to spend all my time recording all this nonsense. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here. I'm going to follow that uh, ender pearl kind of like thing until I get to the stronghold. And then we will bust out our trusty bound pickaxe. And wow. How much XP did I just get? Like, levels upon levels. Okay. Well, here we go. Uh, maybe I won't have to. Throw you. Oh, I just threw two by accident. Oop. Come on, catch it. Catch it. Where'd you go? Where'd you guys go? I only have four of these, so I can't be losing them. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pause here when I get to the... Uh, you know what? I'm not going to do that. We're going to take this cool armor off for just a second. Wait. Oh, it's in my golden bag of holding. So I don't have to worry about damage. Anyways, yes. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and get to the stronghold. And when we get there, uh, awesomeness will happen. Well, you know what? Oh, that's awesome. Uh, did I pick both up or just one? Just one. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Yeah, you guys are really annoying. Where is the other one? Did like a zombie pick it up or something? I guess we'll just rock the three of them. Okay. Here we go. I get a good distance from any other mobs and throw you. There you go. Oh, you turned already. Okay. Where are you dropping? I saw you drop. Where'd you drop? There you are. All right. Here we go. So you're going this way now, right? Ooh, there you go. So apparently these work just like uh, Ender. Eyes of Ender. Um, there you are. And this way. All right. Hopefully this doesn't take nearly as long as it took me to find the end portal. I swear, finding the end portal took me forever. I was like 3,000 blocks away. And I thought those strongholds were pretty regular. But apparently I was wrong. And it took me a very long time to find it. Caught it that time. Cool. Ooh, lucky block. Got to do lucky blocks when I see them. 
Uh, you've escaped the wrath of chance keeps for now. Um, I don't trust that. I really don't trust that. I have a feeling something bad is going to happen like later. Uh, okay, let's get away from mobs and throw you. Alrighty. So anyways, guys, I, I really do hope you guys are enjoying the series. Um, I've been getting some more feedback lately, which I really do appreciate. <clears throat> um, like I said, I really do appreciate the comments and stuff like that. Because uh, not only are you know you guys feeding me with information, but you guys are really letting me know like you know what's enjoyable, what's not enjoyable. I would love for you guys to continue doing that. And if you've got more cool stuff to like you know tell me about that I can show in the series, I would really really do appreciate that because I know that a lot of people watch this uh, not because you know I'm good at Minecraft or anything like that because that's definitely not the case, um, but because they're learning stuff and I'm learning stuff because you guys are telling me about it. And so as I learn it, then, you know, other people can too while they're watching. So please keep telling me about this cool stuff that you guys know about. Like that Magnum Torch, I thought was absolutely awesome. And when I found out that I am neutral with robots now, I, I mean, and it made total sense when he said it, but I just, oh, we got a chest. Sorry, I got sidetracked. But I thought that was really cool. And I am definitely going to be making that Magnum Torch. Hey, 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 what's what the heck? I actually took damage. Uh, maybe it was because that thing was in my head. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm taking What is hurting me? What in the world is, is it this thing like being close to this? What is this? Is this like, are this glitched? Is that what this is? Am I supposed to come in here? I don't know what's going on there, but okay. Um, saddle, safari net, another bucket, a major red heart. Cool. That works for me. Oh, there are so many mobs. Anyways, like I was saying, guys, uh, I, I really do appreciate the comments. So keep them coming. And if there's stuff you want to see me, you know, check out other mobs. Trophy. trophy. Ooh, a chicken trophy. Is that a chicken trophy, I think? A chicken trophy. Cool. Uh, if there's any other mods you want to see uh, kind of shown on here, please tell me because I'm, I'm loving. Whoa. Where'd you go? Oh, you're way over there now. You turned on me. Um, where'd that eye go? I saw you come down. Where'd the eye go? I don't want to lose any more of these. This would just really, really upset me if I got this far and then... Where did that eye go? Hold on. 30 straight up. There we go. That way? Okay, cool. I don't want to lose any more. Hey, where, where did that one go? Oh, what the heck. Okay, we're going over liquid now, and I'm kind of scared to go in. I kind of want to dip my foot in this stuff. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't hurt me. Is this just water? Is this just water in this world? Let's check the bucket. Let's see what the bucket has to say. Liquid Kerillium bucket. Okay, interesting. What can we do with liquid Kerillium? Liquid Kerillium. What can we do with you? Uh, we can make an Oblivion Death Bomb. Um, we can make a Transmutator, which I think we have to make in this world anyways. Liquid Antimatter. Interesting. Uh, a couple forms of that, it looks like. Yep. We can make some Kerillium Stone. Okay. Uh, crystallized Kerillium Shards. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff we can do with this. This could be useful. This could be really useful. Alright, anyways. Back to the task at hand following our ender eye things whoa did it just vaporize do tell me i don't need to go make more of these that would kind of upset me if i had to go make more of these but i swear that thing just vaporized in the air okay i'm gonna head back home i'm gonna make a couple more and you know what i'm gonna go ahead and set a waypoint right here uh new waypoint because i don't want to lose my progress of where we went and then that way I have this, because we're not too far away from the portal. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and pause here. I'm going to go back and get some more of these. Um, oh, I'm going to have to go mine up this stuff. Stuffy stuff. But there's lots of it. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to make some more of those eyes, and then we'll be back. While I'm flying around, I just want to show you. See the robot? He's not shooting me. He's leaving me alone, because we're robot buddies. All right, guys. So I just found a legendary... And make sure it's on capture mode. Oh, release. And we're going to go ahead and capture this guy. Because 
I have an idea for grinding those guys to get the best legendary parts possible. And I just wanted to show you guys that I just saw them cruising by. But needless to say, if I can show you, it's been a long journey. We have traveled a very, very long way. This was a whole lot longer than I thought it was going to be. That's where we stopped earlier. And our portal's back here. It's been a long journey, but I am, I'm chucking it out, guys. So we'll be there shortly. Okay, I just got attacked by some crazy dragon thing. What are you? Unknown. Spectral dragon, huh? Can I shoot you? Well, you seem to take shots. Am I doing any damage to you? That's the question. I need like a sword. Let me see. Okay, we'll just hit you with my guy. Oh, he does pretty easy. Okay, that wasn't. Can I. Undead, undead, undead. I wonder if I can fly if I morph into this guy. I gotta, I gotta, I got to check that out. I got to check that out. All these crazy things. Spectral dragon. Um. I have to hit Tilly to add it to the... Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Can I fly as a Spectral Dragon? I should probably get a little lower since I get to take a fall damage. Oh my goodness. I don't think I can fly. Do, 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 do. Woo! Are we here? Are we here? <gasps> We're here! We've made it! Alright, human form, let's go! We are here. We've got the trusty blood magic pickaxe. <clears throat> let's just head down. Oh, we are here. We are so here. My inventory is so full. Um, let me go throw some of this stuff over here. All right, let's go adventuring and looking. Ooh, so it's very similar to a regular stronghold. Like looks wise, design wise. Little edge over there. Now we just have to find the room that we're looking for. <laughs> You guys are annoying. I hate mobs. All right, so I'm going to venture around and see if I can find this thing. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's like a zombie spawner. Hey, this is kind of like that. Is that it? Do we like find it right off the bat? Is that it? The Deadland Infused Power Stone. You guys, we have found it. We are here. I don't know what we got to do with it yet, but we'll figure that out. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited right now. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're having fun, and I hope you're as pumped as I am. Because this right here, we're going to be able to spawn a basically the first boss of Abyssal Craft. And we're going to take him on. And I am fully armored up in my Tritanium armor because I figure I will die elsewhere. Um, good grief. I, I hope you guys are having fun. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. Because, oh my gosh, that was like the longest trip ever to find this thing. So, come back and tune in for the next episode when we spawn the very first Abyssal Craft boss and get what we need so we can head to the next dimension. Although this dimension is really, really cool and I want to check out the rest of the stronghold after I uh, finish recording right now. But, guys, I hope you're enjoying. I am having so much fun. And like I said, if there's anything else you want to see... Uh, you know, anything you think I should be, you know, telling people about and stuff like that, please let me know. Comments. I love them. I, I respond to almost every single one of them. So until next time, guys, I am Slider Havoc, and this is the Revenge of the C-Team server. And good grief, I can't make it to the door. And we're out of here. Peace.